Good morning, scholars. It is Tuesday, November 24th. It is our last day before our Thanksgiving break. Our break will go from Wednesday through next Monday, so we will return to our distance learning on Monday of next week, which is November 30th. So I hope you all um, enjoy your Thanksgiving break. I know it may not be with a big gathering of people like it normally would be. Um, however, we want everyone to remain healthy and safe, uh, but do get some rest and relaxation and have some fun. Uh, today, I need to give out yesterday's feather. Um, as I spoke about yesterday, the feather will go to the class that had the best attendance for distance learning for the day. And that feather is actually going to go to second grade. So second grade only had one person that did not sign on yesterday. A lot of classes did a really great job. So families, thank you for getting your scholars signed on. So they were ready to learn. Uh, let's continue that great attendance uh, for the next few weeks as we continue this distance learning journey. Overall, as a school, we had over a 90% uh, attendance yesterday on the distance learning. So um, we're going to keep, keep aiming for that goal each and every day and make sure you're still learning even though you're at home. And I loved walking into classrooms and seeing scholars in a nice area of their home so they could really focus on what they needed to learn for the day. So keep that up. A couple other things we are going to cover today is, one, our person that soared, and if you remember from yesterday, our person that soared for this week is actually Henry Box Brown, who got the nickname Box um, from a very interesting story, and I'm going to share that story with you. Also going to talk a little bit about our Nagusa Saba principle for this week, which is Nia Purpose. As we read each and every day, purpose is to make as our collective vocation the building and developing of our community in order to restore our people to their traditional greatness. So we will talk about that also. First, I want to talk about Henry Box Brown, our person that soared. Uh, he was a 19th century Virginia slave who escaped to freedom at the age of 33 by arranging to have himself mailed in a wooden crate in 1849 to abolitionists in Philadelphia, Pennsylvania. Abolitionists were a group of people who during slavery were working really hard to abolish slavery, get rid of slavery. That's why they were called abolitionists. As you can see from that little story there, Henry Brown got his nickname Box because he literally arranged himself to be mailed in a big wooden crate to escape um, slave owners in Virginia. For a short time, he became a noted abolitionist speaker in the northeastern United States. Um, but with the passing of the Fugitive Slave Law in 1850, he uh, became pretty fearful for his life or being captured and being put back into slavery, which led him to move to England, and he lived there for 25 years, touring as an anti-slavery promoter and being a magician and showman. Eventually, he returned to the United States uh, with his family in 1875, and he continued to live in the United States and then later moved to Toronto, Canada, uh, where he spent most of his life as an entertainer. So even though he faced many obstacles, he still found a way to serve and really make a push to end slavery, both here in the United States and um, in different areas in Europe. I think it's really neat, the story of how he was able to escape from slavery in the South and come to the northeastern United States. Um, there's also a children's book that's written about uh, his life that we are going to highlight this Thursday on our Instagram, Facebook, and Twitter page. Um, it's a book by Sally M. Parker, 
It's called The Story of Henry Box Brown. And we will share that on Friday so everyone can take a look at that. I might even try to find a link to the YouTube reading of that story. So if you want um, over the weekend to listen to that story, you'll be able to do that. So again, Henry Box Brown, our person that soared for this week here at Holy Angels. The next topic I want to touch on since we have a very short week, today being the last day, is our Nagusa Saba habit of purpose. We talk about that daily, and, and really what that purpose means for us here at Holy Angels is pleasing God through service to others. And we talk about that core value of serve each and every day during this month. We've talked about I am third almost each and every day this month, that root belief that we have also, where we put Jesus first, others second, and ourselves third. So by pleasing God through the services of others means to keep loving one another as Christians. Um, remember those who are suffering as though you were suffering as they were. Continue to do everything you can do to help others, whether it's here at school, on the playground, in the classroom, uh, when you're walking down the hallway and you see something maybe laying on the floor that shouldn't be there, like a piece of paper that someone may have dropped, picking that up and either returning it to that person if it seems important or putting it in the recycling if uh, it doesn't seem that important. But just continue um, to serve others, live your lives free from the love of money, and be satisfied with what you have. For God has said, I will never leave you, I will never abandon you. Let us be bold then and say, the Lord is my helper, I will not be afraid. What can anyone do to me? Remember your former leaders who spoke of God's message to you, and think back on how they lived and imitate their faith. That's what we need to do to continue to please God through the service of others. Just like our person that soared this week, Henry Box, Box Brown. All right, scholars, let's have a wonderful day today. I have a, another feather here for today. We have this white one. That will go to, again, the class or classes that have the best attendance today. I'm hoping that we can get 100% in a couple of our classes today. That would be great. Really get that percentage up there into the mid-90s. All right, let's end with prayer and uh, let you all begin your day with your morning meeting. In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit, amen. Lord, we are constant learners who seek to know you ever more fully. Inspire in us a thirst for knowledge. We are a community that transmits the values of our faith to all we meet. Grant us the grace to inspire in those around us a fervent desire to seek, persist, excel, love, and serve in all we do. We are witnesses who seek to make God known, loved, and served every day. Give us eyes of faith that by learning more about the world, and the people in it, we might come to see ever more clearly God in all things. Amen. In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. Have a great Tuesday, scholars. Enjoy your Thanksgiving, and I will be back virtually for assembly on Monday morning. Bye, everyone.